Welcome to the Eat Audio. Release your wolf. Well, well, well. Just what do we have here? Trying to escape, are you, Angelfish? I wouldn't do that if I were you. The chain's solid iron. He'll tear your tail off if you keep trying to wriggle out of it. I just came to check on you. That's all. How was your fever? Giving me the silent treatment, eh? <laughs> Come on now, lass. I know you probably like nothing better right now than drag me under the waves and drown me. But, believe it or not, I still care. Are you feeling any better? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Glad you're back on your... Uh, well, not your... Feet, I suppose, but anyway, how'd you get well so fast? I've heard you merfolk have healing power. Is that your magic at work, then? Ah, so you had your legs for too long. Curious. A little time out of the water and your tail turns to legs. Useful for helping you get back to the sea if you get beached. But it appears you can't stand to have them forever, is that right? Hmm. For long, your body starts aching for the sea once again. I... I, I know the feeling. How long had you had your legs when I found you? Blimey. A full week. No wonder you were in such bad shape. Well, don't be afeard. We'll keep your tub full. I can even have my men haul up some salt water if you prefer. No reason for you to be uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, gotta keep you in uh, good shape for Barlow. Barlow? Uh, trust me. You don't want to know. Are you sure? It's hardly stuff fit for the ears of a lady like you, mermaid or not. All right. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Black-hearted Barlow. Also known as the Dread King. Well, he's the most fearsome pirate that ever sailed the seas. Have you heard of the Kelmer Isles? Or the Emerald Coast? <sighs> Maybe not with you uh, living under the water. But there used to be villages all up and down the shores. There be none now, thanks to him. They didn't even have anything of value. He did it purely for the fun of it. They say the smoke from the burning could be seen all the way to Angora. Most pirates live according to the code, but not him, not him. He's got no qualms about killing the innocent. Like you? <laughs> oh no. No, no. He won't be doing that to you. You're a rarity, after all. The only thing he loves more than pillaging is um, treasure. He wouldn't hurt something as pretty and valuable as he. What will he do with you? I... Uh, well, um, I actually don't know. I mean, 
What do I care what he does with his trinkets? By then, I'll be gone, sailing off into the sunset. A free man at last. <sighs> My dad. Arr, that blasted fool Perkins just had to open his mouth. It's none of your business, lass. Just keep your mouth shut and do as you're told. Uh, all right, all right. I suppose I do owe you that much at least. Look, long story short, I was shanghaied as a lad. Barlow brought me aboard his ship and said if I wanted me freedom, I had to earn it. He put me to work here on the Rose, and eventually, after I proved myself, he made me the captain. I, I called the Rose me own, but the truth is she isn't mine any more than me own life. Same is true for the rest of the crew. For the last ten years... We've been sailing and pillaging, trying to earn enough to pay off our debts. But every time we think we're done, that dread bastard demands more. But for you, you, you might just be the payment, the last payment that we need. All the gold and jewels in the world are like pebbles compared to a wondrous creature like yourself. And if we hand you over, it might, it might just be enough for him to finally let us go. Aye, so you see, it really is nothing personal. If there were a way I could get me freedom without hurting you. <laughs> but it's all I've got left to live for. And I won't be letting this chance pass me by. Hmm. Well, now I've told you all about myself. Far more than I've ever told anyone. What about you, Angelfish? What was your life like before this? Oh, hmm. I see, I see. I'm very sorry. She was with you that day. Blimey. Did the Duke's men get to her too? Why didn't we find her along with you? You don't mean that they... Oh. <laughs> Bones, you scared me there. I... Oh, yeah. I wish I could have seen their faces when she gave them the slip. <laughs> what? You, you threw yourself in front of her when you saw the net coming. Ah, so they would have gotten her, but you protected her. Blimey, blimey. You're a... Uh... You're a brave one, lass. There, well, there aren't many in the world who'd be willing to do what you did. Aye, I can imagine. Well, I'm glad she's safe. Missing you, I'm sure. But, uh, anyways, it was a noble thing you did. Well, enough of that. I can't be sitting here yapping all day. I've got to get back to me duties. There's a storm brewing between us and Angora. From the look of things, it's heading straight for us. Hmm? Thank you. For what? For talking to you. Um, uh, you're welcome. Hey, don't, don't get any ideas. You're not going to be able to talk me into letting you go, no matter how much of a silver tongue you've got. You know that, don't you? Good. And don't be going using any of that strange merfolk magic on me. 
Trust me. I'll know. If I find you're trying to charm me, I'll have no choice but to lock you up down in the brig. Now be a good girl while I'm gone. Savvy? I'll be back later tonight. Mayhap, if you behave, I'll even uh, bring you a little something when I return. Good. See you later, then, Angelfish. Hey there, this is Dade, and I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for listening to this audio. If you enjoyed it, consider dropping a sub if you haven't. It really helps the channel, and I appreciate it a ton. Also, drop a like and a comment and let me know what you thought. Consider dropping by my other channel. We got Dades Gaming and Dades for Dudes. Appreciate you, and I really hope you have an amazing day. Take care.